Ladies and gentlemen, William Lauder. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm delighted to be here to celebrate exceptional women in communications and to present the Estee Lauder Company's very own Alex Trower with this very prestigious honor. Our company was founded by an exceptional woman, my grandmother, Estee Lauder. And at her heart was her desire to help other women be successful. I can say with confidence that my grandmother would be as proud as I am in presenting Alex with this award today. For more than a decade, Alex has been a close and highly trusted advisor to me, our family, to our CEO, Fabrizia Freda, and the leadership of our entire organization. She's an outstanding communicator, a skilled strategist who is deeply talented in her craft. Three things combined make her a crucial element of our company's long-term success. In business and in life, communication is the cornerstone of every relationship. For Alex, the two are innately connected. An example of this is Alex's dedication to lifting up those around her, particularly women, to help them achieve their goals. And I've said many times before, great leaders are those who help others to be great. At the heart of all these qualities lives Alex's incredible character, her steadfast integrity, and most importantly, fa the fact that she cares so deeply about every person she touches. In her care and empathy and love for people, both those who work with her and those, who, those much further afield that make her not only a highly valued executive, but a phenomenal human being. Alex, you are an inspiration not only to me, but to every leader in this room. It's a joy to work alongside you, a privilege to see the way you elevate our business, and to witness your dedication to lifting up others. It's an honor to present you with this award, ladies and gentlemen, Alex Trower. This is So I'm just going to say that I started this wonderful experience walking into the lobby realizing I had not put on my contacts. And I thought that was kind of a calling Dr. Freud moment. Um, but I finally got them thanks to my darling husband. William, thank you so much. Um, I'm really, really touched. One of the happiest days of my life was when you offered me this role. And I respect and admire you so much, and you are a joy to work with. I want to thank New York Women in Communications for this honor, and my wonderful husband, John, my fabulous daughter, Grace, my mother and my father and my sister, and my friends. Um, I also want to thank our CEO, Fabrizio Freda, for being here today, my Holland's sisters, and my team and colleagues from Estee Lauder. Um, I am so proud to be part of this incredible company started by William's grandmother, who was such a visionary and so incredibly ahead of her time. But the best job part of my job is leading a team of the most intelligent, talented, and generous communications professionals who happen all to be women in the business. I learn from you guys every day and love working with you. But believe me when I say, this role was not always in the cards for me. You see, I'd always been a good student, a pretty good student, until the first months of ninth grade, when I was failing geometry. And when I say failing geometry, I was like getting a 30%. And I totally panicked. So my bright idea was to go to the mailbox and intercept my midterm progress report <laughs> from getting into my dad's hands. Well, you can just imagine how well that worked out. My physicist father, who's here today, informed me that mail tampering was a federal crime. <laughs> it's true. And my penalty was being grounded until I figured out the Pythagorean theorem. 
Well, I probably should still be grounded today because that really never happened. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. But the real lesson from that experience was that I was afraid to ask for help. And I think that's true for a lot of us, especially women. So ever since then, I've tried to pass this along to every woman I work with or mentor, that it's so important for us to ask for help. And it's just as important that we give that help to each other as women. And that's something I learned from my mother, who's also here today. And that's what makes this Matrix Award so especially meaningful to me, because the one common thread of my career has been that every step I've tried to bring other women up with me. And I have been so lucky to be lifted up by so many others, including many, many women here today. But the best decision I ever made was going to Hollins University, a wonderful small liberal arts college in Virginia where I was surrounded by amazing people who believed in me even when I didn't believe in myself. And these Hollins women, many of whom are here today, don't start singing the Tinker's Mountain song, helped me to understand who I was and most importantly, who I could become. And one of those things is a proud member of the Hollins University Board of Trustees. It's also what I love about working for Estee Lauder. Supporting the women is the absolute essence of what we do. When we feel like we look our best, we tend to act like the best version of our most authentic self. So every day, my colleagues and I try to empower diverse women around the world to find their innate confidence and strength. And that's what makes our industry one of the most dynamic, forward-thinking in the world. At its core, the beauty business is really the heart business, the spirit business, and the hope business. It's about improving lives, which makes our world a better place for everyone, women and men, boys and girls. I bet every single one of us has had a moment when someone helped lift us up. So on a day like today, this just reinforces my belief that the higher we climb, the greater is our responsibility to bring other women along with us. So while the doors haven't totally been opened, let's just smash through them, not for us, but for all the women behind us. Let that be our legacy. Thank you so much for this incredible honor.